Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Valen here from VST, Valen Speaks Tech. And yes, you can see I have the good luck on my Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. We're going to be doing a good luck installation video running on the One UI 3.0, right? We have the One UI 3.0, we have Android 11, we have the Samsung S20 Plus and we have good luck. A lot of people have been asking me some questions around some of the modules, so I said, okay, just go and install it, just see how it behaves. So I said, hey, let me install this. I have everything that I need, made this video for you guys so we can check this up together. So without any further ado, let's just hit here the install button and we're gonna go on the road to install the good luck. While we're doing this, I wanna show you guys something interesting. We go to Samsung members and you click here on the bell, there are some notices. And apparently one of the latest notices that I actually received was around good luck. So I wanna read it to you guys. It is actually an announcement from the Samsung team. Announcement of good luck 2020 December plan for the one in 30 They're saying hello, good luck users. Samsung publicly released the UNI 30 and many good luck users have been waiting for the good luck based on the one UI 30 Please see below updates for the good luck. So what is the plan for the one UI 30 We kindly ask you to be patient and understand the specific circumstances around development of good luck. Good luck is dependent on the Android OS, therefore requires more time to be prepared on the new Android OS releases. Developers are hopeful that we can launch the good luck app in January 2021. So right now what I have on my phone is probably of course the current version which hopefully is going to be updated very very soon. The good luck changes on the one in 3 and this is actually a summary of what we can expect. Comments and ideas from users have been integrated into one in 3 good luck in various ways. Also we plan to keep including enhancements to satisfy users need. Samsung are listening guys so I always encourage you to use the Samsung members app and if you participate in some better programs give feedback all right. Samsung really are listening to the users. To improve good luck identity, we are redesigning the structure to fix the current structure issues and to apply more ideas. And here there is a detailed summary. The main good luck app style will be revamped. We could probably expect here some new design. We'll provide landscape mode on most apps, which is kind of welcome changes. We are preparing to expand the good luck device coverage to 8.30 starting 1.8.3.0, which is crazy news. New features, all right. So what are the new features, guys? Improved features. New developing sticker related good luck features in line with trends of GIF, clock face integrating various customization functions, routing plus, okay, the, you're gonna get some new routing, this micro function, shortcut, sharing features, very nice. Updates to Quickstar, move team customization feature to Team Park, multi star updates, provide immersive mode of split screen feature to make an app overlap the camera whole area. Okay, this is gonna be something I'll definitely looking forward to test. Navstar, developing transparent gesture feature, crazy. We also wanna provide a function to hide the navigation barring the multi window status. Keys Cafe, preparing share function and rapid input function by gesture. Theme Park, support tablet devices, also good news for the Samsung tablet users out there. One hand operation, added detail, angle configuration, screen recorder, the sound assistant. Added feature to adjust the speed of sound and subtitles will delay cures during the BD connection, Bluetooth. Added also the ability to create your own vibration pattern. Oh, this sounds amazing. Renewals, we are merging task change to home due to the many issues. Edge Lighting Plus will be back in the second half of next year with the effect function of Star. And here they're saying we kindly ask you to understand we need more time to prepare all those improvements and enhance the quality. And the wrap up is here. Our developers are working tirelessly day and night to provide good luck based on one 30 as soon as possible. Your support is greatly appreciated and help us to stay energized through the development process. We also realize that Samsung, like everybody else, has also to deal with the COVID-19 situation. So we realize it's been hard and difficult year due to the COVID-19. And we hope that you are staying healthy and safe with gratitude to the good luck team. Nice updates. It seems they're really pumping up and hyping all the users, you know, for the new good luck update. But okay, we don't really have that one right now. So I just installed the one that is current. I'm just gonna open this one and see actually, you know, what we have right now current inside. So this is the good luck screen right now as we have it. We have the quick start, the clock phase, the multi-star. In the audience. when I go to the family, you're gonna see that I have the Keys Cafe, this model I've installed, the theme park. I have also some other models that are not installed right now. So I'm getting only this one, like the Wonderland to create a moving wallpaper. 
the nice catch got tired of mysterious vibration on your phone one head operation plus to control your phone in a more easy way the edge touch which prevents unintended operation by setting restriction on the edge of the phone and the sound assistant so it's pretty much as good as that i get worse here guys we can go to about us and we can see the version of the good lot that i have so it's version 100065 all right so let me just try guys to install the missing module. So I'm gonna install right now the Wonderland, all right? I'm just hit the install button here. The Wonderland is about 40 megabytes, so yeah, it's kind of like a big module. Let's also install the nice catch here, pressing the install button. I'm installing right now the one hand operation, okay? Edge touch, install it, all right? Support for Android Q, which is really nice. I'm installing right now the sound assisting. I'm gonna go back. So now I have either installed or installing or updated all the models that are here in family. We're gonna go to unit and I want also to install the quick start, the clock face and the multi star. I'm gonna start with the quick star. We can also see guys support for Android 11 has been added. Okay, so let's go back. I'm gonna install also the clock face. And last but not least, I'm gonna install the multi star. So let's also install the multi star. All right, now we have this quick start lock face and multi star install, but let's just perform the setup. So we're gonna hit here the quick start. We can apparently set this to on and off. Now we have the visibility of all the indicator icons. We have the home screen, the lock screen, the expanded panel. If we go to system icons, you see I can directly remove something that I don't want, like hiding, also remove the alarm, you know, even remove the volume, remove the airplane mode if you use it, remove the Wi-Fi, you see, no Wi-Fi right there. Even remove the battery icon, remove the NFC, a lot of options, okay, that's good. Clock settings, okay, you can apparently go and use the show AP PM format, okay, like that. You see right now we have the PM, Right now, not. You can apparently hide it. You can put it also to the right. So I think it's a cool feature. You cannot really modify straight directly from the 1830. All right, now we need to see the clock face. Let's click here, clock face. Congratulations, but this app is not compatible with the new operating system. Please update up to the new version once available for update. Multistar, unplugged, all right? We're preparing update, try again when you see the update available mark. So we can only now say that the quick star is working from good luck, at least on my phone, clock face, not so much. Moldy star the same, but let's go now to family. I have installed here all the models that I have, right? So we can start with the Keys Cafe. Keys Cafe is working. You can go there and customize your keyboard as long as you use the Samsung default keyboard. I have done a video about that. You can see it there. Wonderland, you can create a moving wallpaper. Welcome to Wonderland. Create your own moving wallpaper. You just hit the start icon. So let's create, let's use that one. Okay, let's just set this home and lock screen. Okay, it's not so bad, by the way. Do I have already a moving? Yeah, oh, okay, you see? That's actually not bad at all. So we have also a cat that probably the eyes of the cat will move, okay. And what else do we have here? Okay, let's go in here, see the snow town, okay. Okay, interesting. Oh, landscape. I'm a big fan of landscape. Oh, okay. Let's let's use that one, guys. I'm just going to set this on my lock screen and on the wallpaper. Okay, that's nice. It's really nice. And you know, it does really feel nice in the hand. Again, when you're using this, you know that your battery will die sooner. But I mean, yeah, you yeah, know, it's just guilty pleasure. Okay, let's go back to good luck. Theme park. So theme park, you know, you can make your own theme can apparently create a new one. It seems that it's working. Not a very big fan of themes anyway, but it does work. We have also nice catch. So when you click nice catch, it is right now on. Nice catch seem also to be working right now. I don't have a way to test it, but it is working. One hand operation. So let's just try to test this one. We know already that there is a nice one hand operation in the one way to zero, but this is one hand operation plus. When we start the one hand operation and we try to do a gestures, you can immediately see that there is a notification that this will kind of conflict with the gestures that are used so you need to change this you know from the system settings right now i'm not going to do so it's see that it's working it's there i'm just going to stay with the regular gestures then you have the add touch add touch seems also to be working you can apparently also add new edge zone etc i really never had a problem you know with accidental add touches because the s20 plus really has kind of like a small edge here but it seems that this is working as well right so we don't need this and then last but not least we have the sound system now sound system is really great you know you can connect your phone to a speaker and then your kid can play some games and at the same time you can listen to your music also connected via bluetooth phone so it's really amazing application this is i think the multi sound and the separate up sound and etc and etc you can put also some effects and equalizers and it seems that it's working right now guys but this is pretty much as much as you can get guys right and again some Samsung promised that they're going to update the good luck in the next year, so hopefully soon enough. There's also something I wanted to share with you guys. If you live in a region 
where the good lock is not accessible, you can still use the fine lock, right? Fine lock is a third party app that allows you to also get these models installed. So you see the same models here, right? And you can, you can go and even install more models than you can already see from the future good luck app. So it's really as good as it gets, guys. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. This latest news related to the good luck in One UI 3.0, guys. So with that said, guys, I really hope that you're gonna stay safe and you have enjoyed this video. If that's the case, you might want to consider subscribing for my channel and you're gonna catch up on my next video. VST over and bye.